Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. I got a short little Photoshop video for you. A lot of people wanna know how to sharpen up their images without making them look horrible because sometimes you can over sharpen it and then that's not good either. So what I wanna do is just show you how you can control the amount of sharpness that you put on your image. And the other thing is, is sometimes you may maybe just wanna sharpen your images for like if you're posting on Facebook or something like that because Facebook really degrades your images or even if you just wanna upload it to your website and you wanna compress that image, sometimes if you don't sharpen it, it'll even soften it further. So you can use it for that as well. But let me just go through this one little quick little thing that I do quite often. And all I do is just create a, a duplicate layer. So I go to layer, duplicate layer. You might have already seen this, but I'm going to show you how you can do it or use the same technique, but yet you can adjust it. So what I do is I go, after I create that duplicate layer, is I go to filter and I go in the sharpen uh, set of filters. Now you're going to notice there's going to be a bunch here. Sharpen, sharpen edge, sharpen more, smart sharpen, unsharp mask. All right. And all of these do something different. If you just go to sharpen, you can't really see much of a difference. It does it very, very subtly. And sometimes that's all you need, but in this case, it doesn't do enough for me. All right. So let me just uh, step backwards and I'm going to go back to filter. I'm going to go under sharpen and I'm going to go to unsharp mask. All right. So that's the one that I'm going to talk about. Now the cool thing is, is usually you want to bring it up to a spot that's got some detail. Like in this case, this, uh, this hat here has some detail in it, or you can go up to the eyes if you want, because you can see there the face. So if I, if I click on it, it gets rid of the effect. And then if I let go of it, it shows it, or I can just do preview like this here. All right. Now here's the thing. You don't want to over sharpen. If I bring in the, the amount of the sharpening up, you're going to see a huge difference. Okay. I mean, look at that. All right. Now, if you did that, if you brought that amount up, I've got the radius set to 4.7 and the threshold at 2. And you play around with these settings and you'll see what it does. See here, this kind of softened it back out on the threshold. But I usually like to leave it either at 1. Let me see here. 1 or 2 is what I like to leave it at. And then the radius, that's the other thing. You play with that, you're going to get different ranges of this. And you can see already, I mean, it's super, super sharp now. All right. Now, and that may be too much, and you can see it also in your, in your window as you're doing it, that you can see what it's doing to the image, all right? So I think that's too much, so I'm going to back this down, and let's just make it an even five, all right? And I'm going to click OK. And now, if you pull that up, that's very sharp in there, very clean looking, very clean. Look at the skin. Um, it, it looks nice. Some people like this effect just to leave it like that. I think it's too much personally. Uh, but then what I would do is I would just adjust the opacity. As simple as that. Just go into the opacity and bring that down until you find what you like. And then you can turn it on and off and you can see. So see, there's the original, which I like that soft look, but there it is now that we just added some sharpness to it. And that's really all there is to that. It's that simple. So that's without it. And that is with it. All right. Now, the other thing that you can do is maybe you just want the faces to be sharp or vice versa. Maybe you want the, the outer portion to be and not the face so much. Well, then you can just take your eraser and just erase the areas that you don't want sharpened as much. But I would try to keep it consistent. Uh, usually what you want to do is, uh, is use the opacity. That really helps you toggle how much of that effect you want to go on it. You, you might want it to go at 50% here. And you can see there that added quite a bit. Let me zoom right in on that. Let's just look at those cute lips and the eyes and that's it before. Soft. I like that look. It gives it that creamy look, but then you can also create a nice sharp look. And like I said, if you're in Photoshop or in um, Facebook, um, you may want to do this because then what's going to happen is when they compress it, you'll get back to kind of like the original. Uh, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments box below or any other tips that maybe you're using and you can share with others, just leave them below this video. And once again, this is Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I hope you learned something. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. And if you want to receive more videos like this, more lessons, you can head over to our blog at NewPortraitBiz.com and you can find all that information over there. Or you can even subscribe to this channel and get updates through YouTube. All right, so that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you later.